الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم They let go of this Christ Christ died for my sins He saved me He says brother It is your determination Your will Your faith that saved you said, No 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 it's Christ saved me As if he's trying to He's terrified He said you want to drown him again You want to push him back into it Which is not the case So you see now We have to give the people An alternative They haven't got it The only book they know is this And this book they can see The bulk of the people They can see man What mess it has made it hasn't got answers to the problems. So when he lets go, he lets go or he can grabs, grabs anything. Hare Krishna movement. You know, the guys with the little pigtail, they go around dancing with the yellow saffron clothes and with the drumming. No, look, it is the mind. You know, you want something, grab something. I say, I get peace here. I get peace there. So you join the Munis, you find peace. You join Hare Krishna movement, you get peace. It's any movement. It, it is what you were yearning for, that you were striving for, and these are just excuses. The straws, the straws, the straws. It's not the straws that are saving you. So, our Christian brothers and sisters, they don't know anything about the Quran. They know nothing about the Quran. If their own book lets them down, what about any Eastern book? The Quran, an Eastern book, what can it do for you? They don't know this book. And the trouble is with us. We haven't done anything to educate them. We ourselves, we don't know anything about the Quran. The bulk of us. How do you speak to a Christian? My Arab brothers. You see, look, no knowledge. You are good Muslims at heart. Maybe you are good Muslims. You know the Quran. But how are you going to explain to them what the Quran says? In your heart and mind, you understand when you say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ اسْتَفَاكِ وَتَحَرَكِ وَاسْتَفَاكِ عَلَى نِسَاءِ الْعَالَمِينَ Beautiful. Translate it. Translate it for your hearer. How are you going to translate it? So well, you see, uh, the angel came and uh, he took, look, what else can you do? You know, yourself, you understood it beautifully. MashaAllah. You know what it says. But now, you don't know the language. You don't know the right terminology. See, you are just a new person here. You know, you are maybe a mathematician and electronics and all that. But this language, how to translate what you are reading, you don't know. So, my brother said about you people, he said, look, those Qurans are for the non-Muslim, American. He didn't use the word non-Muslim, but that's what he meant. American, you are, most of you might be born here, you're also American. Muslim, born here, you're American. But he said, no, no. He had in mind non-Muslim Americans. So he let them have it. But that's also not good enough. You see? You, I said, you Arab also need it. Believe me, you need this translation. In this environment, at home, you don't need it. Allah, in the side of Allah, you don't need it. Translations you don't need. But now, to talk to this, in this ocean, of westernization, Christendom, English environment, you need a translation to put the correct words, correct meanings of what you are reading. It's there in the mind, but you can't reproduce it. So now you get the translation, Surah Ali Imran, chapter 3, verse 42, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, like this one here. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So, wa is qalatil malaika tu ya Maryamu. So, behold, the angel said, O Mary, inna Allah astafaki wa tahharaki wa astafaki ala nisail alameen. That God Almighty has chosen thee and purified thee, chosen thee above the women of all nations. Ya Maryamu kuruti li rabbiki wasjudi warka ima rafing. So, O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly, prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. Now, if you can memorize that English, you know Arabic already. I have experimented on groups of Arab students in the, in the at Dahran University. You see, I said, now how many of you know? How many of you? And almost 80% put up their hands. I said, are you all half of the Quran? He says, no. I said, how do you know? Well, constant reading, your language, easy to retain. Right? I says, MashaAllah, you have done the job, you know it. Now I said, now, how to improve English? I'm going to teach you how to improve your English. You see, I learn many languages. I know many languages, some. I can quote you Indonesian, Swahili, Spanish, what language? Nigerian, Zulu, Tuana, African, Zulu, uh, Arabic, Hebrew, what language you want to hear? 
tell me, tell me quickly. How this I have name? What language do you want to hear? Huh? German. I didn't say German. Come on, come on. Any. The languages I said, Swahili, Indonesian, or Malaysian, you know, Spanish. Spanish. Huh? Swahili. Se tazameni mikono yangu na migu yangu. Ya guwa ni mimi umenyewe. Umishige ni mshige ni uone. Waguwa roho, haina mbili na nifuka. No, I learn languages. Different, different languages. It serves my purpose, you see. This Swahili opens the doors for me in Kenya. You see, they don't allow South Africans in Kenya. Then when I reached there, sometimes twice I got stranded in Nairobi. 24 hours to catch the other plane, no way out. I can't go out, I got to remain. So I have to keep myself occupied or go mad. So I keep busy. Every Kenyan I meet, you know, the officer with his uniform, I, I says, you know, I was trying to learn your language. I said, yes. I said, look, listen, I don't know whether I'm murdering it, but listen, and I start. I said, Tazameni mikono yangu na migu yangu. Yagua ni mimi umenyewe. Umshige ni mshige ni muone. And people get around me. I finish that, then I says, you know what it is all about. I start lecturing to them. And they listen to me. You know? I meet a Malaysian, Indonesian. I say, you know, I was trying to learn your language. He said, yes. I said, Tengokla, Tanganku, Dan Kakiku, Inila Kusindiri, Jamahla Aku Dan Lihatla, Karen. Any Spanish? Shh. I said, Mirad, Miss Manos, he Miss Pierce, Kelly, Miss Mosoy, Palpadi Ved, Porte in his spirit, Ni Tine Carni, Ni Yusos. Como vies que yo tengo. Hebrew, I wanted to go to Israel to talk to my cousins, delivering the message from the last will and testament of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. So I says, I go to them, talk to them. I says, you see, in the last will and testament of Musa alayhi salam, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 18, it says, Navi akim lahim mikarib akhayhim kamukha winatati before we deber. I want to speak to my Arab brothers. I don't know Arabic. So I learned, I get the Arabic Bible. So I meet Christian Arabs. I says, you know Arabic? He said, yes. I had an argument with a fellow who was giving me a lot of trouble in Canada at a place called Hamilton. You see, a lecture, at the end of the lecture, this man here is asking me questions and he won't let go. Another question and another question. Fortunately, you haven't got the chance tonight, you see. This is all written on paper, so you've got no chance of coming back in a hurry. But that man there, verbal question, one question, I answer that, another one and another one. Eventually when the meeting is over, he's still around me, he won't let me go. From his tongue I can make out he's an Arab and from his what he's asking I know he's a Christian. So I said, you Arab? He said, yes. He said, I'm a Christian from the Lebanon. I said, you know Arabic? He said, yes. Of course, he says, that's my mother tongue. I said, go, go, you don't know Arabic. This is intellectual judo. You know judo? <laughs> intellectual. You said, no, I mustn't do it like that. So I said, look, you, you are 1,000 million, you're doing your own way. Go ahead, I'm not interfering with you. This is my way, you see. When I was young, I did judo, I did boxing, I did wrestling, I did weightlifting. Therefore, you see, I'm 69, I'm still standing straight. <laughs> so I said, go, go, man, you don't know Arabic. He said, you mean to say you know my language better than me? I said, no, no. I'm ashamed to tell you that I'm a born Muslim, but I don't know Arabic. It's the language of the Quran, it's the language, language of Jannah, language of my Prophet, but I don't know Arabic. I'm ashamed of myself. I said, what do you mean I don't know Arabic? I said, you see, you read this book, the Bible, in your own mother tongue, in Arabic. I said, yes. And I said, you are understanding the exact opposite of what you're reading. Not what is there. If you are told in the Bible, thou shalt not commit adultery, you are understanding as if it is saying, thou shalt commit adultery. So, what do you mean? You take me for a zombie? I said, no, 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 no. I said, look, I will prove it to you. I will prove it to you. So I said, you remember when Jesus went to that upper room where they had the Last Supper after his alleged crucifixion? I said, he goes in and he wishes his disciples, Shalom Alaikum. Peace be unto you in Hebrew. Same as Salam Alaikum. When he said, Peace be unto you, I said, His disciples were terrified. So, why were they terrified? When you meet your long lost master, your uncle, your grandfather, you're happy. The Arab, as he embraces one another, kisses one another. I used to feel very funny before, but I'm used to it now. 
<laughs> Some people in the middle, they kiss on my forehead. You know, it feels so funny, you know. <laughs> but now I'm getting used to it. How? The Arab or the Jew embraces one another. See, his master embraces. Instead of doing that, the guys are terrified. I said, why were they terrified? This is no Luke tells us, chapter 24, verse 36, that they were affrighted because they thought he was a spirit. I said, did it look like a spirit? He says, no. Then I said, why should they think the man is a spirit when he didn't look like one? He's puzzled. So I said, look, the reason is I gave all that. Then I said, you know, Jesus wants to assure them that they're not what they're thinking. They're thinking he's come from, back from the dead. He's resurrected. So he says, Unzuru ila yadayya wa says, behold my hands and my feet. Inni anahua, that it is I myself. So husuni wanzuru. He said, handle me and see. Fa inna ruha, laysa lahu lahman wa izamu. For the spirit has no flesh and bones, as you see me have. And they felt him, and they believed not for joy. Means they were overjoyed and wondered. What happened, man? We thought the man was dead and buried. So he says, Aindakum hahuna ta'am. Do you get any here anything to eat? Fana waluhu juz ammin samakin wa shay ammin shahadi asalin fa akhaza wa akala kudamahum. And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and a honeycomb and he took it and he ate in the very side. As if to prove what? That is a ghost, is a spook, is a spirit. No, to prove I'm the same fellow man, damn fools, what are you afraid of me for? Shh, I bowled him over, this Arab Christian. That language. So I do learn these snippets are from different languages. I don't know Hebrew, I don't know Indonesian, I don't know, you know Arabic, but I don't know Spanish, but I can give it to you. So how do I do it? I say I have a unique way of learning. Unique method, unique. Nobody, I'm a unique person, you know that. There's not another person on earth. Not, this is, everybody's unique. Wallah, everybody's unique. Everybody's unique. See, I'm not boasting, but everybody's unique. I told my wife one day, that I'm unique. She doesn't believe it. <laughs> but I proved it to her. She didn't believe it. She think I'm boasting. Nobody like me. I said, no, no, no. I said, I'm unique. There is really nobody like me. She says, no. So I said, you know, in the family, Mr. So-and-so, I don't want to take the name. So she sees, mentally, she sees the father. I said, is there another guy like him? So she sees, she says, no. I said, our son, elder son, my elder son, Ibrahim. I said, is there another guy like him? So she scans, she says, no. I said, your brother, Ibrahim, her brother. I said, is there another guy like him? So she scans, she says, no. I said, you see, I tell you, everybody is unique. <laughs> but I have a unique method, it is unique. I said, you see, I use the Bible to learn.